threat of a terrorist attack here at home has also been the top priority of officials in the United States. So we want to bring in our senior justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, who just sat down for an exclusive interview with Attorney General Eric Holder. And Pierre, uh, the Attorney General is a pretty circumspect man, but on this subject, he doesn't seem to be pulling any punches. George, I've known and covered the Attorney General more than a decade, and I can tell you he was remarkably candid and quite blunt about the relentless nature of the terror threat the U.S. is combating. What keeps you up at night? The concern that perhaps that we might have missed something. The threat is real. The threat is different. Um, the threat is constant. In a rare interview, the Attorney General laid out the most pressing terror threats. Dangers, he said, that are more diverse and increasing. Among them, the new rapidly evolving threat posed by homegrown radicals. The threat has changed from simply worrying about foreigners coming here to worrying about people in the United States, American citizens, um, raised here, born here. You didn't worry about this even two years ago. In the last 18 months, at least 50 Americans have been charged with planning acts of terrorism. And Holder, in a sober assessment, said an American member of al-Qaeda, radical cleric Anwar al-Awlaki, may now be as grave a threat as Osama bin Laden himself. al Holder says, is a clear and present danger. He's an extremely dangerous man. Um, he has shown a desire to harm the United States, a desire to strike the homeland of the United States. The U.S. suspects al who is believed to be hiding in Yemen, helped mastermind the Christmas underwear bomb plot and a recent scheme to blow up cargo planes. He is a person who, uh, an American citizen, familiar with this country, um, and he brings a dimension um, because of that American familiarity that others do not. And where would you rank him or can you rank him? He would be on the same list with bin Laden. He's, he's up there. I don't know whether he's one, two, three, four. I, I don't know. But he's certainly on the list of the people who uh, worry me the most. Does the U.S. have a preference in terms of al Dead, captured, or prosecuted? Well, we certainly want to neutralize him. Um, and we will do whatever we can um, in order to do that. al also allegedly encouraged the Fort Hood gunman and at least 12 suspected homegrown radicals charged with attempted acts of terror. His teachings and writings have been discovered on their computers. One of the things that struck me is that how many of these people have been radicalized online? The ability to go into your basement, turn on your computer, find um, a site that has this kind of hatred spewed. They have an ability to take somebody who is perhaps just interested, perhaps just on the edge, and take them over to the other side. To cope, the U.S. is monitoring scores of radicals and has set up stings to combat the homegrown threat. But the increasing number of stings is not without controversy. You know, the critics say that the stings that the FBI has been doing basically amount to entrapment. We're going to do whatever it is that we have to do in order to protect the American people. Options are always given all along the way for them to say, you know what, I've changed my mind. I don't want to do this. And up to now, everyone has said, um, everyone that we've charged has said, you know, no, I want to go forward. And all of those actions were designed to kill Americans. Holder said the U.S. has made great strides in improving its ability to detect and block attacks. The intelligence community is literally working around the clock, and Al-Qaeda Central has been degraded. Have we been lucky or good? I'd like to think that we're, we're good. But he said while confident the U.S. will continue to thwart attacks, the pressure is unrelenting and there are no guarantees. The American people have to be prepared for, um, you know, potentially bad news. Holder says much of the intelligence is chilling. And sharing a bit of personal insight, he said, one of the few things that gives him a sense of normalcy is helping his children with homework.